You've probably heard the term phishing with a PH, but what does that actually mean? Phishing is when scammers send fake emails, create fake websites to trick you into giving away sensitive information like passwords, bank account numbers, or credit card details. But did you know there are various kinds of phishing? Have you heard of vishing, smishing, spear phishing, and social engineering? Let's break each of these down and talk about how we can spot them. Check out the description below for timestamps so you jump ahead. First up is vishing with the V. Vishing is like phishing, but instead of emails, the scammers call you on your phone. They pretend to be from your bank, tech support, or even the police. They can spoof their phone number to make it look like they're calling from a real place. With the rise of AI voice cloning software, vishing scams are on the surge. Last year, it was reported that a Ferrari executive received the call from the CEO asking him to perform some transactions. The voice and accent sounded just like the CEO. However, when the executive asked him a question about a book he recommended a few days ago, the CEO hung up. Most of the time, these scammers can be easily defeated if we would just stop and ask him some questions. Next up is smishing with an S and an M. Smishing is phishing through text messages. You might've gotten a text message about a problem with your bank account or your package is delayed and click here to fix it. These scams are sometimes combined with vishing. First, they send you a fake text, then they'll call you pretending to your bank's fraud alert team. Last week, I was receiving text messages from Coinbase, the crypto exchange, saying someone tried to sign into my account. I don't even have a Coinbase account. Then another text message states that someone's withdrawing money from my account and to call the provided number to contact Coinbase support. The scammers are hoping that I would panic and call the fake support number. They would most likely try to send me a code to verify my identity, but in reality, that code would be to reset my password. Once they reset my password, they would most likely immediately drain my account of any crypto or cash. If you're unsure whether these text messages are legitimate, go contact their support using the contact from their website. Do not click on any links because they'll probably route you to a fake website and a fake support number. If you want more on fake fraud alerts, check out my other video. I'll link it below. Now let's talk about spear phishing. Spear phishing is a targeted phishing aimed at specific people or companies. Instead of sending thousands of generic email messages, the scammer will do some research on you using your social media, LinkedIn, or even data breach data. AI is making spear phishing fast and effortless. In a recent study, Researchers found that AI-generated phishing campaigns with personalized content fool more than 50% of these targets. The most common targets for spear phishing are usually employees of businesses with some kind of privileged access. Criminals know to target accounting department employees, managers, and others that may have access to payment systems. Now on to social engineering, human hacking. Social engineering is about tricking the person and not their computers. This is when scammers manipulate someone into giving up information or access. A common example is when a scammer calls the phone company pretending to be you and transfer your number to a new SIM card. This is called SIM swapping. It's a very common tactic for criminals to break into your accounts. Once they control your phone number, they can reset your bank and email passwords. Now let's talk about how AI is supercharging phishing scams. In the past, phishing emails are easy to spot full of spelling mistakes and weird grammar. But now AI tools are helping criminals write perfect professional emails that sound convincing and real. AI can also mimic how real people write. So if someone is impersonating your boss or coworker, the message might actually sound like them. AI can now easily clone voices. So when you get a phone call, it could sound like your boss asking you to transfer money or buy gift cards. This makes vishing and spear phishing attacks much harder to detect. So now more than ever, it's important to verify strange requests and never trust messages or calls just because they sound real. Send this video to your friends and family so they can stay up to date about the latest scams. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video.